Experiment. Explore. Enjoy. Hey, Sonic State. Thanks for coming by. Uh, we're here at Superbooth 2024 at the RME booth. And, well, what can I say? We have a lot of new stuff out there. So uh, let's, let's begin with the ADI2 series. So many people know us from the ADI2 series. This is our reference class converters. And now we took it a little bit further with the ADI2 remote. So many people were requesting a software remote that would allow them to do all their nice settings within the computer. So the ADI2 rem remote is available for Mac and PC and for the, uh, for the iPad. Uh, it's absolutely free of charge, and you can use it with all existing ADI2 devices, ADI2 slash 4, ADI2 DAC, ADI2 Pro FS, even the original ADI2 from 2016 is supported. So we got you covered. So what's so special about the remote? Well, um, first and foremost, you can now, for example, set your EQs for your headphones or your outputs and inputs directly from the device. Um, typically, you would use this in a setting where you would try to linearize your headphones. So for example, certain he headphones have uh, not problematic frequencies, but frequencies that you want to might, might uh, yeah, boost or cut depending on your hearing preferences. You can do this all now within the ADI2 remote. And the greatest thing about this is you can now share and save the presets and share that with the community. That is really, really cool. You have up to 20 presets available, but now since you can share them and export them and save them, it's infinite. Well, that's the ADI2 remote. We have now the ADI2 remote 2.1, uh, which now also have this as the state overview. And the state overview gives you what it says, all the inputs and outputs of your ADI2 device, plus the complete state overview. So which IOs are connected digitally or with the analog, you can see the state of the clocking, the bit rate, all of that from the ADI2 remote. And especially for guys that have a lot connected to the ADI2. It's a little bit cumbersome to go into the menu dive and then try to figure out what's going on. It's actually quite quite beautiful to do that with the ADI2 remote, I, I find. And you can hook up several ADI2 devices, so you have several instances as well. So that's the ADI2 remote. The next thing that we have is Total Mix. And Total Mix now has something that we call the room EQ. And the room EQ is a re EQ specifically designed for room correction. So for example, uh, if you have a um, room where there are certain modes, bass is a little bit overblowing or something like that, you can cut it in here straight from the room EQ. Room EQ is available for up to 20 channels. So that means you can do your Dolby and your um, uh, immersive audio straight from Total Mix FX. Mind you, those settings that you have here can be stored into the state of the interface. So for example, FireFX UFX3, UFX2, 802FS, and UCX2, they are standalone devices. So you can hook them up, s save your settings, even your immersive setups, uh, setups if you have connected enough I.O. and then you're good to go. And you don't need to run your computer all the time in order to run your uh, immersive setup or your room corrected speakers. I mean, that's great value. By the way, all that what we are talking about now is free of charge. No pricing whatsoever, no subscription model. You can just download it with the latest version of the ADI2 remote and total mix of facts. The last thing I want to show you is the DigiCheck NG. Many people know DigiCheck NG, and what we have here now is our analyzer and totalizer. We have the totalizer now, which gives you a frequency uh, uh, um, uh, map and also a vector scope and a uh, level meter. Many people know that uh, already from the old DigiCheck. This is now back. Also, n another thing that we have now is an oscilloscope. So you can do for your synthesizers if you want to check out how sawtoothy or, for example, for Nick, if he wants to find out about pulse width modulation, how narrow the pulse width is. Actually, you can check that now in DigiCheck. <laughs> and yeah, that's, that's it. Again, DigiCheck NG is also free of charge. It's available for all RME interfaces. 
in the I2, ADA2 series. The last thing that I want to talk about um, from the hardware side is the DPS2. So with the ADI2, obviously, we entered the hi-fi market. And many hi-fi enthusiasts were asking us about, hey, could you do a linear power supply? Not for the sake of making the ADI2 sound better, but they maybe have something that if they want to drive with 12 volts and they need a linear power supply. So we said, fine, let's do it. We, we do a linear power supply. The, so the, think of the DPS2 as a product uh, in its own right. It's not sticked to, uh, stuck to the RME ADI2. It's an own product and you can use it with everything that needs a 12 volt power supply and now you have a linear power supply. With a, tr with a pretty fat chunk transformer inside, it weighs, weighs a ton. So it's sturdy quality made in Germany. So. The last thing, I, I promise, LNE to DC. Depending on your region, so for example, if you are in certain areas of the world or you're on the road, electricity can become a problem. And what I mean by that is humming, buzzing, all of those things. So we thought about this and said, hey, let's do a galvanically isolated filter. So. That's what it is. If you have problems with electricity, like humming or buzzing, that can occur. That has nothing to do with the device. It's more like how the electri uh, electricity is wired or uh, how it's set up. Then you now have a humming-free, buzz-free power supply. No, sorry, not power supply, filter that you can use, again, with everything that needs 12 volts. This is not solely for RME devices. This is for everyone. So. If you want the reliability of RME devices with a power supply or a filter, we get you covered. And again, this is a product in its own right. We won't say that anything will sound better because RME always has been about mathematic science, reliable things. So if you think that this sounds better with a linear power supply, that is up to you. What we did is we did a great power supply. So this is Adrian from RME at Superbooth 2024. If you have <laughs> made it to the end of this video, kudos to you. We had a lot of products at this show. Thank you so much.